Ah, oh, the holidays in the Netherlands, the land of papernoten, poetry, and blackface. Most Western Yuletide traditions are variations on a theme. In the United States, we have Santa Claus. In England, it's Father Christmas. And in the Netherlands, it's Santa Claus, who shows up in late November by boat from Spain. Rather than elves or reindeer, Santa Claus's helpers are a bunch of white people in blackface, all with the same name, Zwarte Piet. Fans of Black Piet defend the uniquely Dutch tradition that's now huge business. It's children's fun. It's not blackface. He's just Santa Claus's white friend who fell down the chimney and got soot on him. A whole lot of soot. And just on his skin. And not on his clothes. <laughs> they claim it's not racist. Nederlanders are far too progressive and tolerant for that. Well, here's the Dutch Prime Minister in 2014. It is not green peat or brown peat, it is black peat, so I cannot change that. <laughs> this is an old tradition and uh, I can only say that my friends in uh, the Dutch Antilles. The Dutch Antilles refers to a mostly black former colony. They are very happy when they have Sinterklaas because they don't have to paint their faces. And when I'm playing for Black, black Pete, I'm for days trying to get off uh, uh, the stuff on my face. You heard that right, folks. Mark Rutte, a man liberals all around the world cheered for defeating the far-right politician Hert Wilders in the 2017 election, said he wears blackface. Many Dutch think Sinterklaas and Zwarte Piet go hand in hand. But Sinterklaas existed for hundreds of years before he got a blackface helper during the height of slavery. Like England and the United States, colonialism, slavery, and the myth of black inferiority are part of the Netherlands' past. And in the 19th century, racially charged caricatures became popular entertainment. Britain has tried to leave the gollywog behind. You won't find a minstrel show on a marquee anywhere in the United States. But in the Netherlands, white Dutch people have gone to extreme lengths to keep black people black and to silence the concerns of Dutch people of color. Police have blocked, beaten, and pepper sprayed anti Zwarte Piet protesters. And United Nations officials have faced threats after urging the Netherlands to abandon Black Piet. Dutch parents say Zwarte Piet has led to children of color being bullied in school. For many, Black Piet sends a toxic message. To be loved and accepted in Dutch society, you must be like Zwarte Piet, bumbling, goofy, and ultimately inferior to your white neighbors. In Amsterdam, at least, Zwarte Piet's have finally been changed to soot colored Piet's and somehow the children still seem to enjoy them. There's so much about Sinterklaas celebrations that are great, but if the Netherlands wants to actually live up to its progressive image, the holiday blackface needs to go.